Hello everyone, my name is Onsite TV and I am still continuing to, to do the true dark web horror stories number six and number seven in this video, so I had to split it between you know the two. I didn't forget, so let's go. Ugh, I just do like a a send of jigsaw. Pray for me, let's go. Should be like a snack. <laughs> he might have meant like literally. I feel the jump scare. I can't the jump scare. Six. We're almost done. This happened ten years ago. It was the beginning of summer, and I was home alone. I invited my friend over, who actually lived across the street from me. We sat at my computer, which was a desktop, just to chill out and watch YouTube. Now, since this was in 2009, there wasn't much to watch on YouTube. We got bored after a while, and my friend started talking to me about the dark web. He said his friend told him about it, and then he told me about it. He told me there was a difference between the deep web and the dark web, and the dark web was where it was at. He said there was a lot of illegal and brutal kind of stuff. He said it had red rooms and websites where you can buy weed, fake IDs, stuff like that. So let's just say the dark web has a lot of messed up garbage and sick people out in this world. He was telling me you had to access it through a different type of browser, the Tor browser. I was setting it all up, downloading a bunch of different software for safety. It was past 8 p.m. when my friend had to go back home, so it was just me alone again. I finally installed everything and was ready, but I made sure I was safe by typing in Google search bar, what is my IP? And sure enough, it was a totally different one. I accessed the browser, and off I went to look for something local, if possible. There were a lot of links, I didn't actually click on them, though, only because I wanted to be as safe as possible. I was reading the titles, though, and there was a lot of stuff like brutal murders and torture. I also saw the other sites where you would buy illegal stuff. I was looking around for at least an hour. As I was searching more and more, I realized that I was getting deeper into the page, and there was a lot more brutal stuff, stuff I don't even want to talk about. Then I found a link. It didn't seem bad or anything. It literally was titled, What is the Dark Web? You don't want to know. I thought it would just be a video telling me all about it. So stupidly, I clicked on it. My computer froze, and I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even turn it off. A black box appeared on my screen. I couldn't close it, though. And I still couldn't turn off my computer. I then noticed I was in the chat room. People were saying, come on already and hurry up. I realized that the black screen was a turned off camera and then it turned on. I saw a giant man standing in the living room. I couldn't see his face though. And he wasn't standing that close to the camera. He then was started to walk towards it and picked it up. He slowly brought up the camera up to his head. He was wearing a pig mask. Honestly, it was scary. If you go on Google Images and search up Psycho Pig Mask, that's the one he was wearing. He then turned the camera around and started walking to a bedroom. He turned the night vision on and walked in. There was a baby in the crib next to his mother in a rocking chair where they both slept. He slowly walked up to the mother and put his camera next to her, and I shit you not, he covered her mouth with a chloroform soaked cloth. After a while, she was out cold. He then picked up the sleeping baby and held him to the camera and gently laid him back in the crib. I started raging and screaming at my computer monitor, cussing at the psycho. As he was staring at the baby after he set it back in the crib, I was still cursing. It was like he heard me, though. The people in the chat were cheering him on to do more. I couldn't take it anymore, and I tried turning my computer off, but it wouldn't even turn off. 
close. He took his camera and picked up the mother, taking her to the bathroom where he proceeded to cut off her extremities while she was still alive. He put tourniquets on her to clean her up. He bandaged her up and placed her back in a rocking chair. He then walked into the parents' room where the husband was asleep and stared at him for about five minutes. I yelled at the scream, you're a sickle, out loud. And again, the man looked at the camera. But this time, he tilted his head. It was like he was staring at me again. He was staring at the camera for like a minute. He walked towards it, picked it up, and stared at the lens for another minute. He finally <laughs> turned it off. I had control over my computer again. I just turned it off. I couldn't believe what I saw. He's in it your was house. disgusting. It was a little <clears> past 10 p.m. He's in your house. I right? just sat there staring at my turned off Time computer over. screen. But then my computer turned on again. It instantly went to another video. He's in your it was house. the same guy again. He was staring at the camera. I was the only viewer. It looked like he was standing outside of a house. Your house. He put his hand over the camera, and I heard him walking. He pointed the camera into a window, and he started recording someone. You. My heart sank. He was recording me. I turned my head to the window. There stood a man over six foot five wearing that pig mask. He put the camera into his bag, and he just stood there. I just stood there. I couldn't move. I was frozen in fear. He took out a knife and raised it up while tilting his head. But by some miracle, a car was driving up my street, and the pig man took off. The car pulled up to my driveway. It was my dad. I don't know why, but I didn't tell anyone about this. Two days later, I went outside to my mailbox, and I noticed there was something for me. It was in an envelope. I opened it up. It was unfolded and crumpled up paper. It said, you're lucky your dad came home, you little bitch. I didn't show or tell anyone. I actually still have that note. And yeah, I do agree with him. I am lucky my dad came home. <laughs> Tell your dad about your experience. What happened? It, he want to find you again. Because you know your location. <laughs> now what's up piggy I see you looking for me did you get the message in the mail 
after your dad came home. <laughs> Let me show you what the dark web is all about. Oh, it's showtime. Don't wave at me, no. Oh, he got, he got a victim. Your dad, bro. What the hell is that? Should have told him. Yeah. Oh my. Last final part, part seven. Let's finish strong. Ooh, that pig man scared the life out of me. Nightmare feels again. Pig man. <laughs> I'm back to seeing this ugly bastard again. Why it had to be just him? Ugh. Yeah, you saw your father get killed. <laughs> now you fixing to die. The dark web. The dark web. Now you'll find see what the dark web is. Part seven. The lucky number. About a week ago, I was scrolling through the dark web looking at the same old stuff I usually do. I then came across a link called Sleeveless Ace. I was curious, so I clicked on it and checked it out. It was a live stream of a man who calls himself Sleeveless Ace. He was dressed kind of like a black Jack Diller, wearing a black yeah. waistcoat and a he bow tie. Like the purge. He was also wearing a mask, a creepy jester mask, like something you would see from the movie The Purge. <laughs> That's what I said. He was set down at a table with a stack of playing cards that were face down. He then lifted the first card from the deck. It was a six of hearts. He then spoke saying, please place your bets. I didn't understand what he meant by this, but people in the comment section were placing their bets along with live or die. I was still confused. That was until Sleeveless Ace went behind some kind of curtain and brought out a man who looked to be in his 30s that was tied up to a hospital bed. He then pulled out an electric drill and proceeded to drill into the man's legs he drilled three holes in and around each of the man's kneecaps while he Ooh. screamed in agony. You could see the man screaming, crying, and let it out long breaths. Sleeveless Ace then turned back toward the camera and said, Whoever bet live, congratulations. You have won this round. I then understood what was going on. Whatever number the card was, the viewers would bet if the victim would survive the amount of times of torture as the card number. The next card that was drawn was an ace of clubs. Sleeveless ace then said, As you all know, an ace means a torture special. He then asked what the viewers would prefer. A, a rat in a bucket while he held a live rat by its tail. Or B, sulfuric acid and held in his other hand a jar of acid. The viewers then voted on a viewer poll, and the rat won 51 to 49 percent. Sleeveless Ace then put the rat in the metal bucket, strapped it to the man's stomach, 
He won't die. And proceeded to heat the bucket with a blowtorch. I will never forget the screams that that man let out as the rat clawed and ate his way through his stomach. I sat there feeling like I was about to throw up while I watched and listened to this poor guy scream blasting through my earplugs. The rat eventually came out through the man's throat. Yeah, he's dead. The man obviously died because he bled out. That was where the stream ended. Sleeveless A said, thank you everyone for playing. And the stream cut off. Like I said before, I've been on the dark web and seen some pretty edgy weird stuff. But I've never come across anything like Sleepless Ace hmm. or his messed up torture games. Stop. I hate when they do that. Them sudden jump scares. Some days later. Uh oh. Unless he is sleeve his ace. The Jacob guy. No, this has so many red flags. The web alone is a red flag. He's worse than a hacker. Damn safe. Who are you? What do you want from me? Two. Pay me four thousand? Forty thousand? Yeah, you're gonna die, buddy. You're gonna die. Or else you're gonna die. You'll pay with your life. Yep, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. Do you not just hear him? I just have four of the cases. Really? You think you did it? No, I don't. <laughs> Make sure how I feel about your art. You should not die, buddy. the mask from Walmart. <laughs> okay. 
king, okay. A king special, uh oh. Sleep days where it's not meant to turn on the freaking. Alright, what's the king special for? Uh oh. His friend was his next victim, okay. He's in a cage, uh oh. Tsss, daddy said screw you. Oh, you should be happy, he said screw you. Oh, now you get to see your friend die. Uh oh. In there with piranhas? You know he did. Uh-uh. 